Hi guys, welcome to this session in Power BI for Microsoft Teams. What I want to cover in this module is how you can use Power BI within Teams. So the first step is you need to get the app into Teams. To do that, you need to click on these three ellipses at the bottom and search for Power BI. And then it will come up. So I've already added it. So you've got it in here already. This is it. And if you want, you can pin Power BI so it stays there all the time. So I've pinned it. So when you come into Power BI for Teams, if you've already created some um, Power BI reports, you can access those straight away. So I use Power BI Desktop, which I've got open down here, and you can create reports in the desktop, save them and publish them, and then they will be available to you in Teams. If we go back to Teams, and there are all the things that I've already created. So when you do this, what you can do is create workspaces, uh, different workspaces and add reports into those workspaces. So what I want to do first off is create a new workspace. So you've got one there. I'll just call this one Review 2022 and save it. So now you've got the option to add content into there. You've got this new option there and you've got reports or you've got this option there to add whatever you want to add. So let's click on reports. This comes up. Now you've got this option to paste or that's to automatically update something or open something you've already created. And then that's to analyze your, your meeting times and things like that in Teams. I'm going to use this option and I'm going to paste some data that I've got already, already open. So this data here, I've already copied, there's 400 rows of data, and I want to drop that into this area here. So I dropped it in. I don't want anything doing with that. I don't want to manipulate it. It says there, create an auto report, and you've got another option in there, click create a blank one. So I'll do the auto report first, because it's quite cool, and then let it do its business, and you can see how it works. And then I'll do another one where we can do a blank report. So this now just loads that data and then you'll get the information on the screen like so. And if you're used to Power BI, that's a similar sort of thing where you can click on various elements and it will do the filter for you. Just click away, click on a person, it just filters that person's information. So that's great. That's a report that we've created there. And if I save that one, it gives you the option, let's say this is Jan. 2022 and I want it in the review and you've got your other workspaces in there save that and then that'll save that report in to review and then you can close it now if I do another one and this time I'll do a manual one so this time I'll paste the same information in again just click on that paste it in again this time let's do a manual one create a blank report so you just get exactly what it says on the tin a blank report and it's a case of you adding the fields that you want from that table into the various areas on this report. So for example, if I want it by location, it gives me a list of location and sales. So that's that one. If I want a graph, let's say I want a column graph, uh, and I want this by salesperson and sales, that'll give me a little column graph. See Janet Taylor is the best. It's in the sequential order and let's say I want a another column graph where it's going to be salesperson by location and sales so this now looks a little bit cluttered so let's bring that up here make that a little bit bigger so that's not a great graph but basically what you can do is if I click on that person it just filters to show you that person's sales likewise that person if I click on a location It'll just give me that location sales for all these different elements of Power BI. And if you click away, you get that back. You've got the option to put filters in here. I'm not going to do any filters because this is all about just creating reports within Teams. And then you can share these with your team. I'll close this one. In fact, I'll save it first. I'll call this um, Feb 2022. And it can go and review save. So I've saved that one. And then I can close that one back to the other screen. If we go back to home, 
you'll have what you've just done on this bottom list. You can see them all down there. Done lots and lots and lots of them. But this is sitting inside Microsoft Teams. So it's a great little tool. Obviously, you can share this within your team and everybody's got access to this when you share screens and things like that or share the report. Very, very quick to get data and visualize data and, as you saw, filter data. So hopefully that little video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.